Silas ran away from the circus because he had been cruelly treated by Philip, the sword swallower. Now Silas has a beautiful black horse and a good friend, a lame boy named Godic. To earn money, Silas does balancing tricks on his horse, and Godic carves wooden bowls and spoons. They get to a town and the two boys rent an attic in the house of an old deaf woman. They soon find out that she's not really deaf and that she's involved in smuggling. She has hidden the smuggled goods in her room behind a stack of wood. The two boys want to find out what the goods are, but to do that, they will somehow have to entice the old woman out of the house. That night, Silas goes to the local inn to try to sell Godic spoons, and it's while he's there, he thinks of a plan. This is going to be the best tattoo I've ever done. But they're not dead. Oh, all right. There. Move yourself. Excuse me. Huh? Is this money from the other side of the sea? Mm. Yes, it is. Thanks. Mm. Where'd you get it? A man gave it to me and told me that he wanted to meet with you in a tavern hmm. uptown. Ah, oh, you're making up lies. I never lie. Oh. Could be my son. You mean you've a son? Well, why not? You get out of here. Go on with you. Locked it. Yeah, the old crow's pretty clever, eh? But not clever enough. We must hurry. I don't mind. Come on. Hurry up. It's silver. Is it worth a lot? You cannot buy one of those for all the money in the world. There's more of it about. Now put it back. Hurry. <laughs>
Have you found the lost son you were looking for? <laughs> Ask her again. Have you found your lost son, Mrs? Hmm. That's sad. Come on, let's go and feed the horses. next week. Oh yes, it's all going so well and one day we'll all live in a castle. Slow down, old girl. From a castle to the gallows, not so far. Shut your mouth. Just sort out the kids. They're going to murder us. Let's get out of it quick. What? Hurry! You've heard they want to kill us. There, the bowl. Quick! I'm going, I'm going. Take this and keep it quiet. Ah! 
that reminds me. Does it? They made him hang from the gallows once. For stealing. Oh, but they finally cut him down. And because of this, he thought he was superhuman. Come on, Silas. It's true, I swear. I was nearly murdered several times myself. Once by old Bartulin, then by Manuel, and then by Philip. But he doesn't count. Philip's tried to break me ever since I can remember. I should have been dead now three times. <laughs> and I'm still here. I'm not going to be frightened anymore. I know. I'm sure of that. little blonde girl who was kidnapped. Hello, open up. We won't hurt you. I mustn't. But you know us. Aren't you Jenny? Yes, Jenny. And I live here with my grandmother. But are you alone? Yes, but I'm not supposed to speak to you. Open up. Don't be afraid of us. We won't hurt you. We have to warm ourselves for a bit, and then we'll be off. Where did she go then, your grandmother? We've seen these fellows before somewhere. Answer me or I'll beat you! Don't hurt me, please. We stopped here for a while because we've got to rest. We're tired. That's a moving tale. We'd also like to eat. What, do you think I'd keep a free house for thieving tramps like you? You needn't insult me. Where's that black beauty from? Magnificent little stallion, eh? That's me. I must have seen you in Jenny's village. <coughs> Come on. We'll pay you. And what have you got to pay with? A bar of silver. Say that once more. A bar of silver. Where? The bar of silver is in the town. Don't lie. I don't lie. Jenny, make some pancakes and baked potatoes. Yes, Grandmother. And you two? You can sleep here. Where are they, the silver bars? Where exactly? In Fisher Lane, near the Market Square. A deaf old woman guards them. A deaf old woman? Perhaps I know her. But where's the silver? Ask the old woman. She knows where there's more. Why didn't you take the silver? What were we supposed to do with it? 
Hmm. A deaf old woman. I know her. She's so peculiar, she barely pays me a penny when I sharpen her knives for her. Mm, sounds like her. That woman's really nasty. You're pretty nasty yourself. So what? Were you nasty like this all your life? Always, boy. Why? Were you cut down from the gallows too? Just such a trap, you. What made you go and betray a deaf old woman? She wanted to murder us, the old bat. You see, I'm hoping that once you've got the bars, you'll let Jenny return. Jenny is my granddaughter. Is that clear? And don't you ever forget it. Freckles, always up to something. What are you doing in here? I thought I tied you up outside. Now, come on, calm the down. The old woman's disappeared. Looking for silver. Oh, well, at least we'll get a good night's sleep. Once you get Freckles outside, make sure Blackie's all right. Shears a knife to sharpen. Shears a knife. Shears a knife. Today. Go away, woman. Why'd you do that? I want to talk to you. No! No! Help! Help! Now come along. I don't. Don't be frightened. We'll be far ahead of her. I don't. I keep telling you, she'll never catch us up. Come along. Come on, Freckles. The shrew's not really my grandmother. She just told me to call her that after she took me from my village. But why did you tell her about the silver bars? Because I guessed that she'd go and look for the silver. And then we could get away. 